Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thus. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a 250 point room with a uh, level 2 Jim Kai using the uh, double beam gun in uh, uh, in the new Space Fortress interior map. Um, the game will give you a rundown when you go to uh, look at things of the new space rules, but uh, basically the m most important ones are that are the most important one is that you will now move in whatever direction you are facing. So if you're pointed downwards, you will move. You will move downwards. If you are pointed upwards, you will move upwards. Uh, the thing about that is, you will also, you know, back up in the opposite direction. So if you are backing up while pointing upwards, you will go downwards, etc. So it's that's taken a little adapting for me, but it's I'm getting there. Um, I'm getting pretty good at landing shots with this thing, and you know, using it uh, without overheating it. Although I do overheat it quite a lot. I just, uh, you know, I was talking about when to overheat in the recent video, and to be honest, I think I'm just getting better at picking good times to do that. You know, if you can make a kill, obviously, you always one of the good ones, but... See, so yeah, I think that's a Gem Camuff that's beating me up. I just got a lot of, uh... I just got a lot of, uh, po uh weapons for that in my, uh, ten roll on my alternate account. Both of my ten rolls were utter garbage. I, I got I got a bunch of weapons for things I don't have or repeats. At least that means you know some mobile suits got some upgrades and I got some uh, got some hangar tickets. That is another change that I didn't go over in the video that uh, is new. The hangar now has a higher chance of great success for things that you have played more. So. For example, I have apparently played 92 rounds in my uh, Gelgug S-types, and so they have about, all, all told, about a 19% uh, chance of great success, I think it is. I believe that the hangers that open up for uh, the higher level emblems actually have a slightly higher chance of great success, but I can't I can't guarantee that. Um, I'll, I'll have to look into that, but... Yeah, it's, uh, you know, they made a bunch of fun and interesting changes, and, uh, there's also a change to the mountain map that, uh, you will probably see in tomorrow's video that's fascinating. So, they've, they've tweaked quite a few things. I, again, I, I do, I, you know, I, I have my doubts sometimes about, you know, digital only and live service type things, but the fact this is a living game and they keep improving it, I do like. You know, I, d I don't... There's pros and cons to the whole thing, and it can be done well and it can be done poorly. I think Battle Operation 2 does a lot of it better than most. And, uh... And, yeah, so... I, I like some of the changes they made, some of the upgrades that uh, they've uh, given us here. So, it's, it's interesting. And there's a lot to find out. It's just gonna take me a while. Um... Have not gotten either of the new mobile suits. The bishop I'm interested in because if they've got the if they've got the psychomu thing down, that pretty much means the Zeong is now possible. So I have a feeling that'll be like a five six hundred pointer at this point, but uh, probably probably five fifty or higher to start. But it should be interesting. Um, let's see. Waiting for the beams to come back. Oh yeah, it's the Ago. Uh, I need to use that more often. I actually like it. It's it's packed a decent punch for a uh, you know a uh, you know map vehicle. It's just not quite. Uh, it's very fragile as map vehicles are also. So yeah, that's also a gem cam lift done in pretty nice uh, pretty nice uh, animation colors for the gym. One a little bit darker with the green than I might have, but it's you know it all comes down to taste. Trying to get the cam lift before I'm killed and just got it. Oh, well, that's not bad. I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure we have two camos here. One uh, darker colored and one and one much brighter. And Jim Light Armor got me. It's if I can if I can get my sights on the Jim Light Armor, I can do a lot of damage to it with this. But we've got a slight lead, hmm, 900 points, not the world, but a decent amount. And back to the fray. Yeah, there's a lot of places to hide, a lot of cover here. Um, the first round I played in this, I actually played one Thursday night, right after I recorded the update video, and oh, that was a mess. Nobody knew what they were doing. It just all got to be this gigantic, you know, pile-up in the middle of the thing, 
with no strategy and people just, you know, bumping into each other left and right, stunning each other with melee and, you know, hammering on each other. It was nuts. This is one thing I have, I am getting used to on how to uh, fight here, which is that it is a little easier than I'd like to get yourself backed into a corner if you're not paying attention. There's ways around it, but again, have to be paying attention. Not always my strong suit, especially lately. But, let's see. Looking for a good shot. Just kind of sneaking around that corner to try and take one. The, uh, the, uh, what is that thing called? Gigan is uh, totally uh, unprotected, basically. Nobody is actually paying any attention to me. So, missed my downswing, went to, uh, too far upwards, but... And now they are paying attention to me, and they're probably going to kill me before I can kill it. Yeah, it's nearly dead, but so am I, and I just don't have time to do it. And the Gigan's uh, arm gatling actually really does a lot of damage, so it, it was a bad scene. And the Gigan got me, and now somebody just has to finish it off, hopefully. Uh... A strange, and something else you may notice about this map is because it's all indoors and there's no logical place for them to come from, there is no, there are no support attacks on this map. I have a feeling that's going to make it become a favorite for, you know, organized play. Uh, Maelstrom clued me into a couple of uh, U.S. or English-speaking clans, at least, uh, fighting it out recently. And apparently, yeah, one of the uh, agreed-upon rules was no airstrikes, and yeah, that's not even possible on this map, so that should be interesting. That should be useful. For those that want to play space, at least. Even with the changes, I, I have a feeling space is not going to be, you know, a favorite among many, but it's just, it's just one of those things. I think it has gotten better, though. I think it is, I think it's more fun than it was. It's still just very difficult. But I, I feel like I've got a little bit more of a fighting chance in space, especially in these, uh, you know, this is a fairly close quarters map, and that helps. A little bit less than a minute left. We've got a 600-point lead, which is not the world, but it is something. And if we can maintain it, that's all it really takes. I've got full health, which, to be fair, for a uh, Jim Kai is not much. Landed a couple of shots on the Gigan, and uh, it's uh, oop, got the uh, assist on that guy. And the Gigan is at full health again, so it's obviously someone killed it. So, no point in g uh, getting in close. May as well hang back with my team, protect myself, look for a good opportunity where possible without uh, overextending myself and, you know, potentially costing us the match. That being said, we have opened up our lead a little bit. It's a 1,300-point lead now, which in a 250 room with 15 seconds left is decent. I think I knocked one of my own teammates away, and apologies there if I did. Just desperately trying to keep, you know, anybody of ours from getting killed in time. And I tried to go in on that Gigan at the end, uh, end, but did not have a chance. But we got it, and we got it pretty well. So, I can't really complain. It, it went nicely. And yeah, that is the Space Fortress map. That is a, you know, little uh, sneak peek at it. And, yeah, pretty good score. And I stopped base bombing, which is always nice, so... That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! Also, because they've separated out the ground and space ranks, uh, I don't play a lot of space, so I'm only a C+. You know, I can live with that.